Let's see how my hair looks without any styling products. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've actually had a migraine. This is the third day and I'm feeling a lot better today, but it's still just, there's just a hint of it there, just kind of at the top of my head and, and like behind my eyes. Um, but my hair so desperately needs washed. It's actually been quite greasy this week, which is really unusual for me. My hair is not often greasy. So I'm going to clarify it, but um, I'm not, like I say, not feeling 100%. So I thought this would be a really good time to do a product-free wash day. And I'm going to wash, condition my hair as I normally would. And then I'm gonna show you what I do when I just don't want to add any styling products. But when I still want it to look sort of the best it can with no styling products, because sometimes I just wash it run my fingers through it with leave-in and then ignore it. But I'm actually going to sort of style it today with no styling products, if that makes sense, just with a leave-in conditioner and then air dry it and then um, see what we get. Because obviously, especially with looser curl patterns like mine, um, a day when you don't use styling products is gonna look dramatically different to a day when you, you know, do a full style and dry. And so it's interesting to see another reason why it can be good to do a product-free wash day is it's a good way of checking in with your curls, checking in with the health of your hair. Um, if you're finding that you don't know what's going on with your hair, if it's um, you know extra frizzy or it's just not behaving as it normally would, doing a product-free wash day can sort of give you, uh, can give your hair a bit of a reset and it can also help you to feel what your hair feels like without any of the styling products on it. How does it actually feel, like on its own merit? Um, so it can be a really good thing to do from time to time. And it's been a while since I've done it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, so I've had my shower, I've washed my hair and I've just tied it up in my gorgeous little turban from the Distra Sews, which I'll link in the description. Um, and as I said, I was going to a clarified, my favorite clarifying shampoo is the Naughty Detox Dynamo. It's still sulfate free, but it's a chelating, or chelating, I'm never sure how to say it. Let me know in the comments if you know what the correct pronunciation is. Um, the chelating shampoo, which means that it can remove hard water buildup, like mineral deposits in the water. And I am in a soft water area, but even still over time, there is gonna be some mineral deposits in the water that can build up on your hair and any other types of build up from pollution, blah, blah, blah. So uh, that's what I used. I love it because it's still sulfate free. Um, it really, really works. Like, I just love it. Um, but it's still a little bit gentler than perhaps going in with a full on sulfate shampoo. And then I conditioned and squished condition with the Naughty Frizz Miracle Conditioner, which is relatively newer in their range of products. And it's actually the first time I've used it. My daughter, Amica, who's 10, She's been using it on her hair and really liking it, but I actually used it for the first time today. It smelled great, felt really, really nice, but I left it in the shower, so I'll put a picture or something. Um, and I've just had it plopped in my little turban towel. So when I do product-free hair, that's pretty much the only time that I really plop my hair for more than just a few seconds while I'm getting dressed, because it's the one time that I do want to remove more water from my hair. So none of my hair is in this section here. I've plopped it, as you can see, it's all on the top of my head there. And the way that to do that with the turban towel is to have all your hair forward and to hold the turban towel like, almost like a little bucket like this and just allow the hair to fall into that bucket part. Keeping your head tipped forward so the hair doesn't fall over your face, then you can twist and, and tie your turban. So that's what I did. Um, and here we go. Oh my word, look at that. I've got some really, really good, good clumps going on, oh my goodness. So now I'm gonna add some leave-in conditioner. Um, and I have decided to go for the Bounce Curl Moisture Balance Leave-In because it's just a, a beautiful leave-in conditioner. It's a leave-in conditioner treatment and primer is what it calls itself. Um, I really, really like it. And I think it's one that will work well to just give my hair a little bit of moisture by itself when I'm not adding any other products to it. So my hair is obviously not soaking wet. I'm not gonna add too much because my hair is not like super wet. Um, if you add a load of stuff to damp hair, you can end up having it feeling much more producty. That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for natural sort of soft. I'm just gonna use praying hands to smooth it over those clumps. 
I don't actually think I'm going to rake it through. I think I'm just going to try and really work it through with praying hands and then some gentle scrunching because, like I say, my hair is not all that wet anymore. Um, and I do find with techniques like raking or brushing, I, my hair has to be really, really wet for that to work without just completely breaking up any potential curl clumps. And as I said, I want this, I want to kind of get the best results I can without styling products. I'm not just whacking in a leave-in and then forgetting about it. Um, I mean, it's still going to be very low effort, but so there we go. I'm just gentle shake because of the head. Well, I have to say my head actually feels a lot better after just having had a shower and washing my hair. Um, that's actually helped and I thought it might make it feel worse, but I think it's helped, but I'm not really gonna shake my head too much because I don't think that's a good idea today. Also, I hope this is light enough because I haven't switched on my ring light. I'm just going with natural light because um, again, if I have a migraine, I get really, really light sensitive. So having that ring light on inevitably gives me a headache anyway if I have it on for long. So it's just not worth it today. Okay, so I'm just going to gently scrunch it. Try and encourage that curl. As you can see, I have my brush out here because I was thinking I would brush the leave-in through and then I, I rethought it and thought, no, that's probably not a great idea on kind of damp hair. <laughs> okay, it smells so nice, that bounce curl leave-in. So I'm just gonna finish it off by using the wet part of my little turban towel um, and micro plopping it just to see if I can get just a little bit more water out and also just by squeezing it I find it also helps with um, the curl formation but of course if I've used a lot of products I don't really want to go doing this and squeezing them all out so I don't tend to do it on a normal wash day but I do from doing a styling product free wash day. So that is it. It's looking fairly, uh, fairly promising. So now I am just going to air dry it and I will check back in with you throughout the air drying process. I don't think it's gonna take too long. It's fairly warm here today and it's not dripping wet obviously. Now it's, it's at that sort of damp stage and with only the leave-in in, it shouldn't take too long to dry. I'm hoping it'll be drying two to three hours maybe, we'll see. So we're just over half an hour into air drying and actually the ends feel pretty dry. I've put my makeup on and what I've decided to do, I got this little claw clip recently from Sheen. It's so cute, I really like it. Um, and I've tried root clipping before, but I just had a feeling that this clip could be really useful because of the shape of it. It's curved, so it kind of will go to the curve of my head. So I've just been, as I'm air drying, what I always do is flip my hair back and forward, side to side, and it stops it kind of drying too flat. But in addition to that, I'm just sticking this clip and kind of loosely clipping that hair away from my scalp as well. So, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Like I said, the ends are pretty dry, uh, but the roots are still quite damp. I think this is gonna be dry quite quick. Hey guys, move my stand a bit because the light was just disappearing in that corner of my room. So another hour has passed. So now that's like an hour and 40 minutes. Um, and this is where we're at. That little claw clip hack definitely has worked to get me some volume. Although obviously it's not completely dry yet. Take this off so I can show you properly. Um, but it's looking really good considering. I'm actually really liking how it's turning out. Um, I think it would, it's about 80% dry. Like right here, the nape of my neck is probably where it's dampest. Uh, and yeah, it's nearly there. I think within the next hour for sure, potentially even within the next half an hour, it will be dry. And obviously I'm gonna wait till it's completely fully dry and then I can give it a little bit of a fluff. Um, but what I'm really impressed at is the lack of frizz. I was expecting it to be a lot more frizzy. Um, so yeah, for anybody who ever sees my videos, not on YouTube, some other platforms, and says your hair is not curly because you have to put all that product in it, well, nah, 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 nah. 
Okay guys, it's now two and a half hours since I started air drying and I think that's it completely dry. I can't actually believe how good this looks <laughs> with just that leave-in conditioner. It's so shiny. Oh, found a tiny, tiny little damp spot just here, but for all intents and purposes, it's dry. I haven't really done anything to it. I'm just gonna give it a, a slight fluff um, and a little bit of a scrunch, but obviously there's no cast, but I still always like to give a gentle scrunch once it's dry. But yeah, I like to give it a scrunch because it just sort of releases the curls. Whoa, look at it. Wow. <laughs> wow. I think it actually looks better than the last time I air dried, like with products in it, with gel or whatever it was that I put in it. Um, this looks better somehow. I mean, I know that that bounce curl leave-in is amazing. I've loved it for a really, really long time. Um, what can I say? <laughs> I didn't expect it to look like this. I really, really didn't. I thought we'd have a heck of a lot more frizz. I wasn't planning to, but I'm actually going to check back in with you tomorrow. Well, let's see how it holds up overnight because that's something obviously styling products do um, a lot of helping the curls to stay. So it will be interesting to see, like I'll protect it like I normally would with a buff and um, we'll see how it actually lasts. Let me show you the back. Feels lovely, of course, as always does when you haven't got products in it. Um, I definitely think that hack with the claw clip worked and I've done root clipping before, but I just think the shape of that claw clip worked so well and I kept moving it as I was air drying, you know, flipping my hair back and forward um, gently, keeping my migraine in mind. But yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm so, so impressed with it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I will check back in in the morning and uh, let you see how and if it has held up overnight at all. Good morning. So this is my day two product free hair, styling product free hair. After I've slept on it, I used my buff as I always do and it doesn't look half bad, does it? Surprised, very surprised. Still feels super soft and nice. There's, I think, I think if I'm being 100% honest, it looks better like on camera, on screen than it does in real life. So if I turn and look in my mirror, there's definitely more frizz and less shine than is showing on here. I wonder if I, I want you to get a true representation of how it looks. So it still looks super shiny, but it's, really good like I'm still really pleased with it um I wasn't expecting it to look quite this good uh, I really thought that a lot more of this would be more stretched out I didn't expect to have any real proper curl in my top layer so I I'm really really amazed that bounce curl leave-in I mean I don't I'm, I'm putting it down to that it also could be the new naughty frizz conditioner because it's the first time I used that so I'm definitely going to be um practicing a bit more with that that naughty frizz conditioner because, you know, that could be, it's supposed to reduce frizz, so maybe it really did. Um, and somehow I've just hit the jackpot when it comes to protein and moisture balance. My hair must just be very, very balanced. Long may it last. But let me know if this is something that you do much. Do you do product-free wash days? If not, then I definitely recommend you try it, but don't be disappointed if your hair lacks definition or actually doesn't really look that curly because at the start of my journey if I did a product free wash day it would just it was almost like there were no curls there and it can make you question yourself but don't because it's very normal for wavy and curly hair to not look the same when it's not styled and that's okay sometimes it's to do with the health of your hair sometimes it's to do with your curl pattern or a mixture or the balance that your hair has in that moment so do not worry or panic or doubt yourself if you do a product free wash day and it doesn't look like this and it looks, you know, frizzy or, or lacking definition, this has shocked me because as I say, I've done this many times and it doesn't usually look like this. So the curl gods were just shining down on me for whatever reason this time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Have a great day and I will see you guys soon. Bye.